I feel good. Happy St. Patrick's to you. I'm sorry. I know we're, we're in green, some of us over here. Y'all in green, y'all in green. Looking looking good. What's going on? Were you at the bars before or you just came straight over? No, I just came straight over. I uh, I didn't want to get plastered before I had to do interviews because then you look back and it, it's like that Facebook video that people post of you and I'm like, damn, did someone have a camera there? Like, I'm like, where, where did you have, hold a camera that night? Wait, that's definitely happened to you though before, right? Uh, there in college, it happened a lot where we would just party our ass off and do um, fun stuff, nothing dangerous, kids at home, fun stuff, appropriate things that McGruff would approve of. Um, but cameras like weren't around all that much, you know? And um, like, you you know, you go places and nothing like illegal, but stuff you're like, I hope nobody's filming this and people weren't, but now, I've been at places where I'm like, there's no way, uh, we see something crazy happening and we're all watching and then I see like 20 cameras out, I'm like, so. You know, being a celebrity and being on a show, is that something you're more cautious about too? Being out in public and having people with cameras? Even when you're out with friends? No, I mean, I'm, not, I'm aware of it, but I don't think it's changed who I am. I think that my friends and I are genuinely like up for adventure, like crazy people. But I mean, we're not unsafe, you know what I mean? So I think that we just like to have a good time and I don't think, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, we're aware that cameras are there, but a lot of time, but it's like, it doesn't matter. So you're on Two Broke Girls, yeah? So for all of those people at home that have not seen it, tell us why we should watch Two Broke Girls. Two Broke Girls is an amazing show about what's currently happening with the American economy. It's about two women, it stars two women, uh, Kat Dennings and Beth Bears, who are brilliant actresses. They're incredible. If you haven't seen the show, you're missing incredible talent. And um, they are, they play people from different worlds. So, because that's kind of the state of America right now, that some of us used to be rich, some of us never were rich. And America's founded on the, a lot of times on small businesses and kind of building from the ground up. And as a, as a, a nation, I think that, you know, that old trust game when you were like in camp, where you'd sit with your back to somebody and you'd push up the back because you couldn't get up by yourself. You'd need somebody else to do it. And so that's kind of what it's about. They have a small business, a cupcake business that they're trying to start from the ground up. One of them is the artist, the other one is the business sense, and they can't do it without the other one. And I think it's a real thing that's going on right now that a lot of Americans can relate to. And I think because they're so brilliant at portraying the characters, you really get behind them and believe in them. And, you, and you're like, damn, I hope these, these girls make it. And so it, it feels good, and they're they're so great at it. So it's easy to love them. Do you think they ever will make it? You know, to be perfectly honest with you, I have no clue. And we get the we get the episodes um, like right before we're going to shoot. Like everyone always asks, you know, like, yo, give us the juice, son. Give us. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, you probably know more on message boards than I would. I don't know anything. Like we're shooting up until the night before. And then we get a brand new script, and then we meet, I meet everybody at table read. And so a lot of times, like Jennifer Coolidge, who is brilliant on the show, who's on it now, um, I found out on Deadline that she was going to be on. Because we are so busy doing the current thing, and we're not focused on the, the, the stuff that's coming up until we need to be, because it's so intense and involved. And so, Do you say you like it better when they give you the script so close to when you're about to shoot? Yeah, I mean, I think that they are... They know that our attention is, you can only do what's in the moment. What's coming up in the future doesn't matter until it needs to matter. And so that next episode doesn't matter until we really get this one. And so it's cool. It's like we don't have to, we know the next episode is coming and we're excited for it, but we know that we have a job to do and this is the episode we're doing right now. Yeah. Is there any irony in the fact that one of the characters owns a cupcake shop and there's cupcakes here tonight? Man, Cupcakes is, is, is out. I remember when we went, we've been to a couple places, they're trending, which is really cool because the script, you know, was written a year or so ago. I mean, I've always liked Cupcakes. I go to, yeah, I'm like, I have a sweet tooth and I, I'm that awkward guy who's just like, who's like, we'll just get some for the table. And then everyone's like, no one else wants some, Jonathan. I'm like, people might want them. Don't make this about me. Um, and then, so I always order sweets and stuff. But um, yeah, I don't know. They're like alcoholic cupcakes are here. So. Great mix, right? What's your favorite cupcake flavor ever? Probably um, red velvet. And there's one that we talked about on the show, which is called the beer battered maple bacon spring break cupcake. Is that even a real cupcake? It's it's probably going to be. I don't know if it is now, but I'm telling you, like that sounds delicious to me. 
somebody needs to get started on that. Yes, this is what this interview is about. It's about us just putting it out in the world. Well, we're not supposed to tell people. It's supposed to be an invention that we create. I'm, saying, I'm not. I'm just saying it exists. Maybe somebody wants to give me some of that. I won't turn them down. I'm gonna get them for the table. Yeah. Thank you so much, and we hope to see more of you on Two Bro Cross. Thanks, guys. Enjoy tonight. You too. Thanks. Thank you.